Begin tonight with a courtesy ride turning into an officer involved shooting in DeKalb County. It happened at a gas station on Candler Road. CBS 46's Yasmina Alston joins us now live with details on how this all started. And Yasmina, we're also learning more about who this man was. Savannah, that's exactly right. And this all started on the interstate after an officer responded to I-20 because a man was walking in the median. Well, that man was later shot and killed and has since been identified by the GBI. I uh, see cops open fire. Why they open fire, I have no idea. It was a scary start to the day for those in this gas station plaza on Candler Road. One man, A.B., who works in the plaza, says he noticed the DeKalb County police car with a man in the back on Saturday morning. There was nobody in there, actually, other than one customer. And the lady officer who was involved in shooting, she bought a water bottle. The guy. I spoke with Ibby by phone and he tells me an officer bought water from him and when she returned to the patrol car, he heard the shots. I was pretty much safe because I was inside the store and it was happening in the parking lot. I don't know what happened exactly because she was the, like, the officer, lady officer was nice. She bought a water and everything and all of a sudden what happened? I have no idea. The GBI is now investigating the officer involved shooting. According to investigators, it started around 8 a.m. when an officer responded to calls about a man walking in the median of I-20. That man has been identified as 33-year-old Kristen Smith. DeKalb County police say the officer approached the man and offered him a ride to this gas station to get him to a safer place. According to the department, once they got to the gas station, Smith pulled out a gun. Officers then shot and killed him. The GBI says officers learned that Smith had an active warrant and during the process of arresting him, officers discharged their guns and shot Smith. The GBI says a gun was located by Smith's body. Nearby residents say they're still in shock. Oh Lord, what has happened now? And again, we are working to learn more about what led up to the shooting. And the GBI tells us that this is the 73rd officer involved shooting they've investigated so far this year. Reporting live tonight, I'm Yasmina Alston for CBS 46 News.